everyone! People still do that. I'm Sarah Rash, author of the YA fantasy Snow Like Ashes, and for today's Cupid's Arrow, I'm doing one that comes from the Valentines themselves, actually. Uh, Kristen Lippert Martin suggested I profess my love for chakrams by making one. But since I'm super lazy and didn't want to go to the store to get materials to make an actual chakram, I am going to make an edible chakram, which is even more fun. For this recipe, you will need Ritz crackers, marshmallows, melting chocolate, and food coloring that's kind of a, a grayish color. And I used frostings for the base. Okay, step one. Plates, cracker, marshmallow. Microwave for 30 seconds. Alright, put the marshmallow, make sure it's kind of centered in the middle of the Ritz cracker, then take the other Ritz cracker and sandwich it together making sure that the marshmallow ah, kind of comes out somewhat symmetrically on all sides. Something like that. Alright, so then you're going to take your grayish frosting food coloring concoction here and color just the marshmallow gray. Once your chakram, or ah, once the marshmallow is completely painted with the grayish color, take your melting chocolate, put it into a bag like this, and melt it like this. Cut the tip off like a medium-sized hole, and then make down the center of the cracker a squiggly S shape. So in between the putting the squiggle chocolate on the cracker and now, uh, my camera ran out of memory, so I had to plug it into my computer to transfer the videos. But iPhoto was updating, so two hours later, I can finish my video. After you draw the squiggle of chocolate for the handle, um, that's pretty much it. I was so close to being done with this video. I know most chakrams traditionally do not have a handle, but Mira's chakram does because it's a special kind that's a ricochet back like a boomerang. So when you have that handle and everything's done, it'll look. Mm, like something kind of resembling a chakram, maybe. I kind, of, I kind of winged along this whole thing, in case you couldn't tell. Uh, but yeah, there you have it, how to make an edible chakram that I am not going to eat, but you could if you really, really wanted to. I recommend just eating the melting chocolate straight out of the bag. Uh, thanks for watching, and have a great Friday.